hi guys welcome back to eco design sophie youtube channel in today's video i want to share with you guys how to cut and sew a 360 degree flare it is very simple and if this is what you seem interested in please stay tuned until the end of this tutorial now you guys here are the materials we are going to be needing for this tutorial i have right here my ankara print i have my lining and the interface so the interface right here i have a paper stay and then an hair stay you can actually make use of a peplum stay if you want your peplum to stand really very well okay but today i'm going to be making use of a paper stay and hair stay now we are going to be folding our fabric into four to cut out a 360 degree flare you need to fold your fabric into four now not to waste your fabric we are going to make a calculation so that it will guide you on how to fold your fabric now for us to fold first find the radius of where you want this your peplum to stay and to find that radius you are going to consider the circumference of where you want it to stay so the client wastes okay uh, this peplum is going to be on the waist line okay and my client waist is 38 inches again you are going to consider the length of the flare that you want and the length i want for this flare is 10 inches now to find our radius the formula is radius equals c over 2 pi where c is the circumference of wherever you want this flare to be and then pi is constant if you did your mathematics very well you would relate to this okay so what i'm going to do next is to add two to this 38 inches and divide it by 6.28 which is 2 times 3.14 all right so after i divided this this gave me 6.3 meaning that the radius of my flare is going to be 6.3 okay now this 6.3 i'm going to plus it to the length and this would give me 16.3 okay now to fold into four i'm going to be making use of the 16 points three okay this will help you not to waste your fabric okay so the horizontal axis you are going to get 16.3 and then the vertical axis you are going to make sure that you have up to that 16.3 as well okay so this is actually what i'm trying to measure out right here so i folded into four and to the vertical as is i have 16.3 inches and i then max and then to the horizontal axis i have 16.3 now i'm going to start by cutting out my radius remember that my radius is 6.3 so i'm going to place my tape right at the fold okay to the triangular part of the fold all right or you call that the angle 90 degree part of the fabric and then mark out your radius and once you are done you are going to follow that radius to mark the length of your flare okay now once you are done with this i'm going to also show you what to do in case you want to mark this out simultaneously okay you can actually do this by leaving your tape on that particular point okay which is triangular and then you mark out simultaneously your radius and the length of your peplum at once okay so you guys i am done doing this and i'm trying to show you guys what i just explained next thing you are going to do is to go ahead and add half an inch because you need half an inch to turn this with your lining okay so i've added half an inch to the lining i'm going to also go to the radius and add half an inch okay which i'll use to join to the waistline of the upper bodies so 
i've gone ahead to add it and then cut it out so if i open this up this is our 360 degree flare i'm going to go ahead and cut this out on a lining as well so to cut it i'm going to fold my fabric into four again which is the lining i'm going to fold it into four and i'll make sure that the folded part is aligning with the folded part and the other parts is also aligning with the main fabric and i'm going to go ahead and cut it out just like you can see me doing okay so once i am done the next thing i'm going to do is to open up the main fabric and the lining and i'm going to go ahead and cut open one part of it okay because this is actually a full circle and to join it to the upper part you need to have your zipper allowance okay so this um place that i just slitted is going to go into the zipper side all right so guys now what i'm going to do next is to go ahead and indicate the wrong parts and this wrong part of the main fabric is where i'm going to be fusing in my hair stay all right so you can see that our lining doesn't have the wrong and the good part so anywhere you want you go ahead and fuse in the paper gum so i'm going to fuse in the paper gum into the lining and the hair stay into the actual piece so i've gone ahead to do that next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and place my lining on top of my actual piece and i'm going to make sure that the good parts are facing each other and then right here i'm on top of my machine i'm going to stitch all around the circle using half an inch and you can see the way i'm rotating my hand guys this might seem very easy but this is the most difficult thing you can ever achieve if you are a beginner okay you need to know how to keep your hand straight you need to know how to rotate your hand before you can be able to achieve this okay so now that i am done with um stitching the edge i'm going to go ahead and notch and then give this a good press okay after notching i'm going to top stitch all right before i would head over to my sewing machine to give this a good press and to top stitch i'm going to make sure that the seam allowance goes towards the lining can you see what i am doing make sure that the seam allowance goes towards the lining and you go ahead and top stitch and while you are top stitching you might find it difficult just ensure that you put your hand beneath and then push the seam allowance towards the lining part and you guys if you want to top stitch this ensure that you top stitch from the good part okay so that you'll be able to see what you are doing don't top stitch from the wrong parts okay you can see what i am doing ensure that you are top stitching from the good part of this your peplon okay so once you are done with this i'm going to turn it over so that you guys can see how neat this is looking can you see i'm going to go over to my ironing table and then give this a good press okay so you can see what we have right here i'm trying to arrange it in place and i will go give it a good press to stay flat all right so guys i am done ironing this you can see what i have you can see how my peplum is staying beautifully in place so now i'm going to go ahead and run a stitch around the edge just like this okay so i'm going to go do that using half an inch and then top stitch the radius all right so now you guys once i am done with this i'm going to go sew it into the upper bodies of my blouse and the next thing you're going to see is this peplon beautifully fixed into my 
upper bodies so guys uh, this is what we achieve uh, this is where we'll be um ending this tutorial i hope you guys find this helpful if you do please give this video a thumbs up i will see you in my next one bye